Hey guys, here I am again doing a doing my very first request video. Um, it was requested that I show my favorite brushes or brushes that I think are good to start off with to building a good brush collection. So I'm going to start off with my favorite face brushes. Um, my favorite face brush, one of my favorite face brushes is the MAC 109 brush. Um, Erin of Scandalous Beauty calls this the airbrush brush and I have to agree with her. It is a dense brush um, and it's great for liquids and or cream foundations as well as powders if you want to use it for powders. But it's a really good brush for foundation, it's good at buffing in the product. Um, and really getting the product to absorb into your skin and just kind of giving that flawless finish. The only downfall about this brush is that it sheds like crazy. So you'll notice that a lot of people who use this brush and even if you've seen tutorials on YouTube, they're always constantly kind of going like this to pluck off the little hairs. Even after deep conditioning, I still find that this brush sheds like crazy. But I will not um, stop using it. So. I recommend this brush for anyone who wants that flawless um, foundation, especially if they're using a liquid or a cream. And if they're using a powder, it's still a good brush, just kind of small, you know, to get all of your face. But it'll take a little time. Like, I need to use it on my nose. It's getting a little shiny. But the 109 brush, the MAC 109 brush. I also have Sigma's 109 brush, and it's pretty much the same. So either one, MAC or Sigma's 109 brush. My next favorite brush is dirty because I um I haven't washed it. Now I'm I'm so, so bad at that. Sorry about that. But it's the Mac 130 brush. I really really like this brush um, because it is the stippling brush, so you can apply the product onto your skin like so. But it's not as big as the 187 brush and not as loose as the 188 brush. Um, the 130 brush is really good at I think this is perfect for cream blushes, for cream foundations, um, as well as liquids. Cause it, again, it's like, it's kind of like the 187 and the 109 got married and had a little baby and the little baby is the 130. So they both are really, really good. And I suggest both of these for um, foundation, creams, blushes, whatever you want to use them for. My next favorite face brush, and sorry, like I said, they're dirty, is the 168 for blush. Oh, this brush can do no wrong in the blush world to me. I use it and I just sweep it on and it's perfect for giving me that C right here. Love the 168. And my all time favorite face brush is Max 182 brush. As I said in my very first May Favorites video, I don't usually wear um, foundation a lot, but I wear mineralized skin finish, natural and dark most, most of the time. Like that's what I have on now. And I just take the 182 and I buff it into the mineralized skin finish and I buff it onto my skin. I use every powder that I use, I use this brush to buff the powder on. It is an expensive brush, but I say that it, say that it is one of the best investments that I've made as far as brushes because it is perfect for really buffing in the product and getting the product to give to make your skin even and really really just creamy licious. <laughs> now I'll move on to my favorite eye brushes. Now I have a huge array of favorite eye brushes, so I don't know if this helps pick your favorite eye brush, but it'll give you options, I guess. Um, in my eyebrow tutorial, you already know I use the 266 for my brows as well as the 208 for my brow um, for concealer. The 266 is also good for lining your eyes. Um, it's very, very, because it's thin, it's thinner than most um, angle brushes, which is why I really like it because it kind of like drags that line. And if you know me, I usually don't wear liner, but when I do, I usually just do it on the outer corners because I'm blind and I can't see without my glasses. So this was pretty good at helping me drag that line out without worrying about it being too shaky. My next favorite brush is the Sonia Kushuk um, Large Blending Brush. 
I like this one for transition for using in my transition area. Um, and transition basically means that color or that shade that you're going to use between your lid and your crease area, this area right here. So I like to use this um, in that area specifically. My next one is another Sonya Cushion, which I talked about in my May favorites, which is the multi-purpose um, blending brush. And I use this one in the same aspect, as well as if I want to do a darker color on the outer corners, I use this to apply there as well. My next favorite brush is Sigma's 239 brush. I know a lot of people don't like Sigma brushes. They don't like the fact that they duped MAC with their numbers and things of that nature. But I really, really like Sigma's 239 brush. I don't know what it is about picking up color and packing colors on. I really, really like this brush. If I had to choose one brush out of their collection from their um, professional kit, it would be the 239 just because it's really good at packing on color on the lid. My next brush is the L'Oreal, the Laurel Cornell Maxa Mop Brush. It's pink right now because I did a pink look a while ago and I never cleaned it, sorry. Um, which is to me a exact dupe for the Max 239 brush, which I love as well, but not as much as the Sigma brush. Um, so, and this was pretty cheap, I think like maybe four or five dollars. And I just stocked up on these, meaning I got like four or five of these just in case my 239s were ever um, really, really dirty. I could pick these up. I use these on clients, I use these on myself, especially for practicing. So, if you want a good practicing brush and you don't want to ruin the hairs of your MAC 239 brush, or you don't have the Sigma brush, go out to your local craft store and pick up the um, Laurel Cornell. I think this is the. Three-fourths, I want to say it is. Three-fourths Maxine Mop Brush. My next two favorite brushes are the exact same brushes, but just different companies. This is the MAC 224, and this is the Sigma 224. I adore both of these brushes. I like them because they're super fluffy, and they really blend out your colors really nicely. Both of them. So... And of course the Sigma one is a little more, a little less expensive and it's a little longer, it's taller. Um, but the ferrule for both of them are tight, meaning that I hear people say that there's wobble, mine having wobble. And I will say that I got my Sigma brush set when they first, like when they first blew up. And I truly, truly believe that there is a difference in their brushes now compared to then. This is one of their newer 224s. And I swear it's not like the original Sigma 224 that I lost, but it's still a good brush. So check into Sigma. I mean, don't you don't have to buy the whole set, but you can definitely buy some of their individuals. My last favorite brush is a very unexpected brush. This is the MAC 227. I didn't like this brush when I originally got it and I got it for hype. Everyone was like, oh yeah, I need the 227. I need the 227 to really, really define my highlight area or for whatever. Uh. But after watching X Sparkage use it to really help blend out her, um, blend out her the top of her from the highlight you know, to kind of merge the two colors together. I really found an appreciation for this brush. Now, like I said, I don't usually do um, a highlight, but what I've noticed lately is that this is brush is still good for just blending this area with your brow color, so with my concealer. Today, I have on a little highlight. I have on Teletint um, eyeshadow, but, and it really worked well to actually just really get in there and blend the colors together. These are all of my favorite brushes, um, must-have brushes. MAC 109, MAC 182, MAC 224, Sonia Kushuk's Multi-Purpose Blending Brush, and MAC 266. These would be like, if I had to pull any brushes in a pinch, these would be the five that I would pick up. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that if you are looking for brushes and you're looking to invest in brushes that you have a, a, a solid foundation for brushes that I think that are must-haves in my opinion. I hope this helps. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching the video.
please rate, comment, and subscribe.